everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've viewed any of my videos before I'm Melanie and I do a variety of videos with my predominant video being vlogs on Tuesday and Sundays I do what I call my other content video which could be anything from unboxing items to reviewing products to trying things on camera to doing story times or experience type videos today's video is an unboxing of a Ted Baker bag and the outside packaging basically almost fits on screen but it doesn't quite so what you can see is actually how it was delivered this is the actual packaging that came and on the back I'm not going to show it you but Ted Baker's outer packaging really really impresses me I've still got the outer packaging of the last item I bought from them which I'm just going to quickly show you to just show you how amazing the outer packaging is this is the box my last one came in so as you can see it's like a box and it's got like a stamp on it and everything and on the back it does have the delivery details last time it came by a UK mail this time it did come by Royal Mail so it is a really stunning box so it is a sleeve on top of a cardboard box and on the side of it it does say unzip here reuse this sleeve I think that's if you're returning it so you can literally pull this tab and it's like a zip but I have discovered I can get it off <laughs> By sliding it off and that means I get to keep it intact so the underbox has to Baker London on it the back of the box is plain what I love about Ted Baker packaging is literally it's carried on throughout the design so as you saw on the outside box there was a sleeve and it had this pattern on it is carried on for the entirety of the box not just the back but in the bottom so inside as you can see there is the bag there is a gift card there is the price and the name of the bag so you can choose the gift option which I actually did even though it was for myself so if you choose it as a gift option, you get a gift card in an envelope which you can seal yourself and you can have a message printed on a card. So the card is basically the same design as the box that I just showed you and inside you can type whatever message you want but I just add enjoy on it. The back is just plain and it says Ted Baker on. So even if you buy it for yourself, I would do that. I didn't do it last time, but I did it this time because I just thought it was fun. So if you want to know what other paperwork you get, you get the returns form, which is like the fanciest returns form. I've still got the last one. Delivery note, it just says Ted Baker London, your delivery note, order number, dispatch date, order date. Then the bag itself. So the bag comes in a clear packaging. And do you know what makes me laugh? It was a gift and they've kept the price on it. So if you did send it to the person, they are actually going to get this bag with the price on because they're presuming the bag's going to the gift recipient. So like all Ted Baker bags, it comes in this canvas dust bag that says Ted Baker London on one side and the other, it's got always judge a bag by its cover, which I absolutely love. And then you have the jaw strings ties and it says Ted Baker London all over it.
I don't mind admitting I thought the bag was slightly bigger. I don't mean across. Is that length or is it width? I think it's width. So I thought it was, I didn't want it longer that way, but on the side, I did think it would be thicker. I thought these sections here would be around that thick. So that thick and the knot. So it just means it's gonna hold less than I thought. But as you can see, it's a grained leather, which I, if I try, if I get leather goods, I do try to get grained leather because it's just hard wearing. And if you get a scratch on it, you'll be able to polish it out and it won't show as bad, as bad as it would if you got a smooth leather bag. So it's grained leather and then it has this detail with it to it, which I love. On the pictures, this actually looked plastic, which concerned and confused me because I thought, why would you have a leather bag and stick a, a plastic detail to it? And I kept reading the materials and it said leather, 100% leather, and then inside the material, I think it was polyester, I can't remember, it might be cotton. So when I got it, the first thing I looked at was this and it is just a smoother leather and it's stitched on because it, I thought it was kind of stuck on or something and it's not, it's actually stitched on and then another eye detailing that I like is the Ted Baker on the website it looked like this was kind of, you know, when they print it on and I thought, well that's not going to last very long it's going to rub off quite easily but it's actually a plastic I don't know if you can see that it's raised but that's a better quality than I thought it was going to be then you have the sides like I showed you and then the back what I would have felt would be nice on the back if they had like a zipped pocket here do you know like put a zip on maybe a black a black zip or even like just where you can put your hand in and it's quite tight but you know enough room so you can get your hand in and maybe put something in it like your car key or you know something that it can just hold that would have been a nice little extra touch the straps wrapped up and then when you open the bag it's magnetic which I like then you're not having to search around trying to push it back into the fastening if you don't know if you can see but the lining has got the Ted Baker bow it's all over it and it's a black lining which I like and then we have the full pocket which comes with some free paper if you want any free paper so as you can see the lining detail with the bow continues in the so another thing is it's not zipped it would have been nice if it had a zip so you don't need to put the zip up the top you can just put like a piece of material in there with a zip on because you can get bags where it's got the top part of the leather there and then across the is a zip that would have been good um, and it's not massively spacious if you can see I think the more you use it and the leather stretches, the, the more it'll, the pocket will become bigger. But obviously my concern is if you tip your bag upside down, are your items going to fall out? But I knew it didn't have zips, so I didn't buy it thinking it would have a zip section. Another section, see I'm, I'm kind of tearing the bag apart as well as telling you how much I like it. But, you know, if Ted Baker's team's watching this, which I doubt they will... I just want to point out some things what they could have done or what they could do potentially in the future. So like in this middle section here, they could have had a third compartment, you know, like a really thin one, so not as big as this first front one and the back one. Little section with a zip on, so you didn't need to put a zip on here and a zip on here, but you could just have a middle section where they could, you know, be a very small, thinner section with a zip, so you could put your really important valuable items there like your phone and your your card holder and then at the back
is the back pocket area, which again is bigger than it looks and it will stretch more over time. So I noticed this last time I got one. If you wrap up this, which is like obviously you're not going to keep it on, it's just a tag. And on the back, they also put the price on. So if you are buying these as gifts, don't send them directly to the recipient because they're going to see the price. Whereas you can keep this tag and take that price off because it, it is separate from the rest of the label. So I don't know how much you can see in there. But there's this zip section. So in between these two silver things is a black zip. That's what this is actually attached to, the zip. So it does have a zip section section but it's not massive like my phone would not fit in there but I guess you could put your card holder in there but then it would take longer to get it out of that section I think the zip sections at the back come as standard in most bags these days and further in there I don't know if it's ever going to pick it up there's a Ted Baker label and that's the bag I bought this as an everyday bag so if you've watched any of my vlogs you'll see that for about the last nine months now possibly ten months I've basically the majority of the time used the same bag every single day and I absolutely love it it's smaller than this it's probably about up to there and it's the same height and it's got two zip sections so the zips are on the outside so there's a front zip part and a back zip part and it's got a long crossbody strap and it's a faux leather with a black and white chevron detail to the front and I adore that bag because I know what's in each part of the bag so at the back I'll keep my umbrella and I'll keep a powder with a mirror in a compact and anything that I might need like if I've got an appointment anywhere I'll keep my appointment card in there or if I've got prescriptions to pick up that my prescription will be in there that's the sort of thing I keep in the bag because the majority of the room is taken up by the umbrella and in the front I will keep my card holder my coin purse my car key a couple of lipsticks a couple of lip balms either chewing gum or things like Werther's Originals painkillers and that's the sort of thing and I know what's in which part of the bag and that's why I like that bag but I have worn it a lot and it has a metal chain with like a full leather strap bit at the top and some of the um, part of the metal chain is starting to tarnish and it's gone like from a gold colour to a rose gold colour and that's because I've just literally worn it the majority of the time so this is kind of to replace that and I like that it's got two sections inside although I feel like this Will hold less I like the fact that I can separate my items and I know what's worth so this is basically to replace that so if you have any questions about any this item like I did buy it directly from Ted Baker and I bought my last bag from there as well which I didn't use as much as I thought I would so I want to get into using that more often then you know please leave your comments in the comment section I will always respond if you're new to my channel please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell notification button to get an alert every time I upload a video I'll be back very soon with another video thank you for watching everyone